welcome to Jurassic Park uh, extended edition. I'm your strategy cat uh, looking double McWhopper flame. Uh, bonjour. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's King Flamer back with our King Gaming video, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a new guide for Zeus. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a dinosaur guy, guys. So uh, we're gonna be spamming the bad boys, the Hydras. And uh, man, they're gonna grow some fucking hats, dude. But yeah, man, it's gonna be awesome. So I was playing just around on a little, on a little Smurf of mine, you know. Uh, so like a second account, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm read this game, and my name is uh, fully erected Colossus. I just realized that. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like whatever, you know. And I'm playing with my buddy. Uh, okay, Poppy, you know. Okay, okay. All right, so. Uh, just let it get it. Let's get it on with the guy, guys. So, five to food, very standard, but yeah, you gotta do it. All right, so hunting dogs don't forget for the increasement rate on the hunted animals, so they get the villagers get to hunt faster, you know. So, yeah, this strategy is like it's kind of viable, you know, to use. I feel like you should, you guys should give, you know, a shot or like two shots or maybe maybe three shots, you know, like if you have a gun, you know. You can just fire, keep trying, all right, you know, or maybe if your rapper just like keep firing the shots, man, you know, all right, so there you go, three on boot, don't forget, and then next up, it's gonna be three to go, yeah, it's very simple so far, very simple to follow, all right, make sure to leave a little space in between the gold mine and the storehouse. So your villager can drop off the resources uh, rather easily. That's a very efficient way of uh, going about it, you know. All right, so uh, make sure to scout around your base, of course. Uh, you definitely want to scout out your hunt, as you can see right here. Some zebra, some giraffes, a settlement. Yeah, we like that. We like that. All right, so some gazelles. Rhinos, a lot of rhinos. Yeah, that, that's looking really good for your strategy. Like, like this strategy, you gotta do it on high end maps. Honestly, like, did this strategy is good against Norse, like Hydras. Like, I feel like centaurs, man. It's like it's like new school style and old school style at the same time, you know. But like, it's always been effective in most matchups. But you know, people expect it nowadays, so. I feel like with this strategy you might surprise a couple of Norse players and you know take the win so definitely give it a shot so alright after 3 on gold your third gold villager builds a house uh, like in a wall kind of like that yeah we like that alright so next villagers uh, you put them to a new a new hunt spot as you can see alright so I got so far 6 there and then two here so I did switch a couple of villagers from the uh, like the, the initial uh, five villagers on food I switched a few villagers to the rhinos and this villager is chopping a tree for no reason I kind of misclicked there honestly but yeah uh, don't do that alright so once you have a hundred wood a hundred gold you just lay down a temple you construct that baby Ah, oh, just like that. Look at that. So sweet. Look at him hammering down. Yeah, some stones. Some wood. Alright, very good. Uh, make sure to place your goats nicely around the town center. Uh, for, you know, it, it just looks cool. And it's, it's pretty good, you know. Like, only use one goat at a time. So the other ones uh, stack up the food. Like, they will increase in food the more you wait. And with her spinnery even more. So make sure to grab that upgrade too. Like you can see. There we go. Carry plus 15 food to get a rate. Oh yeah. We like that. Yeah yeah. Alright so my scout is a little bit low. Which is because I scouted the enemy base. And as you can see I'm against a Norse player. A Tor player. And that's pretty good for me so. This is like a good time. All the stars have aligned for me to try out this strategy, alright? And I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. I got 400 food 
so around 12 or 14 on food like normally I would say 12 on food and then the rest of your villagers go to wood or gold until uh, you can you you click on advance but with this strategy you know you want to go fast rogue right away for the hydras so you kind of want to like stack up the food you know so that's why I throw two more of food and then of course you need to get around 500 gold to age up and after that honestly you don't really need much uh, gold because you won't be make, you won't be making hoplites uh, you won't be making hippocons it's just archers and hydras uh, that's what I'm going for so you need some wood to make the armory houses and the archery ranges and then you need like 500 gold alright so I'm going to switch these food villagers uh, to the gold mine and because I'm not taking a town center in classic I can actually grab the eco upgrades while I'm, while I am advancing alright so I did grab pickaxe and I grabbed hand axe alright so I'm going to have a good eco to just like really spam units on one town center alright so yeah it's looking good make sure to scout the black spots like I was like huh there must be one more rhino and then I checked and hey, yup there he is man he was just hiding in the trees he didn't want to be poached man but yeah this villager got him run away a little bit I hope come on don't tank it bro yeah there we go well the distance is kind of you know big but you know it's whatever alright 8 on gold uh, 12 on food seems to be working you know you can kind of like play around yourself with the with the villagers amounts of on each resource like some maps you're gonna need a little bit more and some maps a little bit less it really depends on the situation and just adjust to that you know you gotta adapt alright so make sure to not lose your mine tower kill a villager if you can like instantly go to the enemy hunt villagers what you can do is select the rhinos or the gazelles for example and the ones that aren't selected that doesn't show the the brown kind of looking health bar those that are not selected means that they're like being hunted right now and they are dead so usually there's villagers hunting those animals at that very moment so you can blindly just go to that part of the map and just raid like I did alright so you will see the villagers moving right now to the rhinos and by the way while all of this is going on I did make Artie Zeus and Jason by the way while all, while all of this is going on I'm going heroic uh, through diagnosis or however you pronounce that shit man alright five on wood and let's just test it out as you can see it won't let me select this rhino which means that he's hunting it right now and I feel like a lot of you guys don't know this trick so I'm just telling you guys right now I always do this it's like such an easy trick to just like instantly go to the enemy hunt villagers like it's just just scout a map and do this it's so fucking simple dude alright so as you can see I have built archer range I've put up about four on favor you know you get, they gotta pray a little bit for the hydras to come out of the temple you know they gotta grow up nice and big look at that oh man such a, such a wonderful beast right there I like it alright so he was raiding me a little bit right here and I would suggest just to send your uh, minor tower to defend against Norse raids unless it's her series but yeah a minor tower will deal with the raids really easily so and even the hydra is helping out he's already paying off so yeah I like it I like it alright so as you can see you don't need much on the gold right now what you need right now is a lot of village on wood and food because you're gonna need to spam the hydras and the archers alright alright so let's keep going uh, it seems my buddy is helping out too but yeah you like I think he's going to this giraffe but like 
there's no one here you can tell by by doing this like you you already know he's gonna be here so there's like really no point in walking in here unless you want to check town centers but you can actually select a villager and then press Z uh, which is the hotkey for making a town center and place it on top of the settlement and if it does not not select like right here then uh, it means that the enemy is building it or someone else so another trick right there tips and tricks at king gaming yeah 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 alright so spamming the hydras just like that alright so out of queue in the boys there we go second archer range uh, activate it go go power rangers alright this is squad the die time squad I like it we like that shit alright so it's still this still the same eco upgrades uh, it's looking pretty good so yeah the hunt is almost gonna run out which means you're gonna have to transfer to goats or the KFC the chicken really depends man I kind of like you know the easy food no walking time no waste on wood like 450 for the granary I mean it really depends you know how much uh, food the uh, goats contain like if they're close to 300 I would start eating them it's really good but yeah so as you can see uh, green countered my strategy really nicely by making more hearsiers than usual but what that means is you just micro your uh, tox on the hearsiers like I'm doing and you make sure you're microing your hydras your dinos away from the hearsiers alright so yeah this is the power ranger dinosaurs dino power yeah yeah all right so uh yeah they just keep pumping out man so another little trick you know i'm giving away tips for free today uh shift click and then uh right click on the military banner and right click on the on the map where you want all your idle military units to go and that way all the idle military units all over the map I'll come to that point it works for idle villager banner too so yeah make sure to use that to your advantage and yeah uh, just make sure not to suicide uh, fucking uh, uh, your archers to the town center like honestly like just make sure your hydras are tanking uh, I mean they're 800 HP dude they're beast and yeah they're just dropping villagers down and left and right it's so fucking good guys like oh my god look at that all the hearse is dropping down by the archers and once you have like uh, pushed the hearses back or killed enough then you just go for the main town center like this and yeah like they, they snowball so hard because they grow hats and each hat is like an additional 100% uh, damage I think or like 50 I actually forgot but I will mention it in the description like the exact number and yeah make sure to upgrade your tower against Norse uh, to stop these annoying raids from happening and then after that man like you can honestly take the world on like even if the enemy like his teammates sends more units uh, to help the green player I feel like my dinosaurs are just gonna deal with it really easily like they're, they're snowballing so hard and this dinosaur is just he was doing nothing for a second and he's still like spacing out a little bit but make sure they're uh, doing their work and uh, everything will be alright man yeah and yeah uh, maybe a little granary right here would have been better but uh, it was an intense game like I haven't done a strategy in so long honestly but yeah I mean if you want to surprise Norse player like they're gonna expect like a Minotaur rush or they're gonna expect uh, a radium war with sand towers on two town centers but they rarely will expect this you know like like it's definitely counterable like it's not hard to counter this strategy honestly like but if the Norse player does not expect it and it's high hunt map like all the stars have aligned right you know like this game then it's gonna be so overpowered dude like once you get the ball rolling it doesn't stop 
it just keeps going it keeps rolling and it keeps getting bigger just like my fully erect glasses yeah all right so here we go we're gonna keep going to the temple and we're gonna take out the tower and here like I said before uh, there comes steel army and like honestly you can just take them on just make sure oh man look at that yeah take care of the heroes and you can drop down restoration and the bronze at the same damn time just like that make sure to micro your hydras your dinosaurs and all right like look at that micro picking off the heroes like make sure to target only the heroes with your archers and after that throw an X-Men and yeah the Hydras will just take care of the rest <laughs> look at that it just one shot the Fakri oh man I'm even hunting their animals because I got so much map control like I'm putting so much pressure down alright so yeah let's take a look at it like a quick look at the eco uh, make sure to set a new rally point once your gold bond runs out uh, yeah I'm making a new storehouse right there but yeah guys uh, take a town center on time and then just keep macroing and just keep going guys and uh, yeah I think that's about it you know like I feel like with this strategy you can even go like uh, a cheesy mythic right after because you're gonna have so much food because you're gonna be full pop pretty fast with the dinosaurs as long as they don't die and right now I don't see them dying honestly the dinosaurs won't go extinct yet so yeah it's looking good no meteors around so it's all safe but yeah it's looking good uh, and golden warriors like go on I like it yeah <laughs> alright let's, so let's play as fast until the game is over and uh, that's about it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this little guide and uh, give it a shot and let me and let me know what you guys uh, uh, think and uh, how it went alright so I'll see you guys next time peace yeah yeah